Today at Electrify Bike, we're gonna go over installing gear sensors, also known as shift sensors, and brake sensors. Now, gear sensors are simple devices. They install in line with your derailleur housing, and when the cable passes through them, they detect the friction, and they actually disable the motor as you shift up or down, which prevents you from accidentally putting a thousand watts through your drivetrain. On a Buffane conversion motor, there's a cable dedicated to these sensors. With TSDZ2s, you can install one in lieu of a brake sensor. It does pause the motor for a longer period of time though. CYC currently does not support gear sensors as of their 2023 Gen 3 and Photon motors. When locating the best place to install, it's best to avoid any curved housing. Try to find a place that's close enough to the motor and as straight as possible. Curves add pressure to the sensor housing and can damage it over time. You can use an extension if you've got to reach further from the motor. Once we've got our spot, we're going to mark it based on how we're going to cut it. We want to account for any depth that the sensor you're using may have, though it is still better to have more housing in order to keep tension. We'll then clear out the housing by detaching the derailleur and sliding the cable out. We make our cuts, clean out the new gaps with our pick, and cap the ends with ferrules. Now, just shift the cable back through and the gear sensor will occupy the new gap we've created. Tie everything up, plug it in, and boom, ready to rock. All right, let's give it a little test. Note how the motor disengages as the chain moves. Perfect. So hidden wire brake sensors install the same as the gear sensor. Find the best location and make space for it in line with your housing. Engage your brakes and the motor is disabled. The mechanical brake sensors work by replacing standard cable levers. The magnetic brake sensors work by sensing the motion of your levers. Whenever the magnet moves away from the sensor, your motor is disabled. These work on hydraulic brakes or cable brakes. Now, they're a little cumbersome to install. The included tape is often only a temporary solution. Plan on using hot glue or epoxy for long-term reliability. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Okay, that's good.